Hey guys, welcome back. And if you've been following the political climate over the weekend, you'll know of Amber Rudd's resignation as Home Secretary and Sajid Javid's announcement as her replacement. This is largely due to the fallout of the Windrush scandal, in which the descendants of people from the Windrush generation that came over here from the Commonwealth of the Caribbean over the Empire Windrush um, to help the gaps in the job market in a post-war period have been denied services and some people have been threatened with deportation to countries they've never been to they were born here in the UK and it's shocking what's worse is the government's response and it seems to be a lack of an apology and Barod has rightly resigned for her role in it. Found to be lying time and again over her knowledge of what was going on. At the same time, she's not the only one that's culpable. Because Anne Barod is almost the tip of the iceberg. She kept this hostile environment in place and allowed for a situation like this to develop, even when it was brought up time and again to do nothing about it. But the person that created this, the person that sent go-home vans around, the person who ordered the destruction of the landing cards after a toxic immigration bill was brought into place, is the person who's currently in Downing Street, Theresa May, the Prime Minister. And I know people are going to be in the comment section, oh, label the ones who originally brought up the idea. They were, back in 2009. And then in 2010, under a different government, it was voted through. However, that was before the Immigration Act of 2013-2014 and the destruction of the landing cards in 2014, which is ordered afterwards. Originally, it wouldn't have been a problem. Or it wouldn't have been as much of a hassle. But when Theresa May set about this quest to attack illegal immigration with these go-home vans that she came up with on a hike, because all of her big ideas come up on a hike, don't they? She made the situation much worse. The amount of people who've been told that they have to have had several documents uh, for every year they've been in the UK that could lead to hundreds of pages of people being told that they're wrong because they haven't been able to account for one year or two years even no matter their age and the time it's shocking it's disgraceful but Theresa May still manages to find a way to get herself out of it. I honestly don't believe this government is fit to lead. I've been saying that since June general election last year. But here's something else that I also know. When May brought in her immigration bill, the one that created this toxic, hostile environment. There are a handful of MPs that spoke against it, voted against it. And they included such brilliant people as David Lamy. And people like David Lamy, uh, Dawn Butler and Diane Abbott have done really well in bringing up this issue in Parliament. And it also included prominent front benches now within the Labour Party, including John McDonnell and leader of the Labour Party, Jeremy Corbyn. They warned us so far before. And that's because they care about the people. That's why they have to bring it up. That's why they keep raising cases of constituents or people from who've contacted their constituents, the office talking about it. Conservatives don't care. If they did care, this wouldn't have become a scandal. If they did care, we wouldn't have this issue being blown all out of proportion four years after it begun. They, they simply don't care about
about the people who helped build this country after the World War. Send them a message this Thursday. Tell them they've not done enough. Tell them that you know who actually cares about you. Vote Labour. Vote Labour for the many, not the few. Thank you.